Boston Dynamics just changed the rules of humanoid robotics again. The new Atlas robot is now fully electric, lighter, and engineered for work, not tech demos. Gone are the hydraulics, replaced with custom high-torque electric actuators for faster, quieter, and far more precise movement. Its redesigned frame uses 3D printed metals for a better strength to weight ratio, and its AI now runs real-time perception and motion planning on board. The result? Atlas can haul objects, place them with pinpoint accuracy, somersault, backflip, breakdance, and recover from a fall by flipping back to its feet all autonomously. This isn't a prototype anymore. It's Boston Dynamics' first serious shot at a deployable humanoid workforce. No wonder giants like Hyundai is also betting big on it, investing $21 billion in the project. So what makes this version so different? And how close is it to real factory use? Let's break it down. Number 1. The Electric Body – Atlas Reinvented from the Inside Out Boston Dynamics didn't just tweak Atlas. They rebuilt it from the ground up. The old hydraulic system, famous for those parkour videos, is gone. In its place? A fully electric drivetrain built for speed, precision, and reliability. Switching to custom high-torque electric actuators at every joint changes everything. Hydraulics were powerful but loud, messy, and prone to leak. Fine for controlled lab tests, terrible for real work environments. These new actuators deliver comparable power with far better efficiency, faster response times, and whisper quiet operation. For anyone who's worked around industrial robots, that silence isn't just a cosmetic upgrade. It's critical for safety in human robot shared spaces. The old hydraulic Atlas operated around 90 to 100 decibels, loud enough to drown out alarms or verbal instructions on a factory floor. The new electric actuators cut that to about 40 to 50 decibels, quiet enough for normal conversation. The chassis has been overhauled too. Boston Dynamics is using 3D printed metal components, optimizing for a higher strength to weight ratio. That means Atlas is lighter, better balanced, and more energy efficient, giving it longer operating time per charge. The new Atlas weight is 180 pounds, much lighter than the old Atlas at 330 pounds. This lighter weight reduces stress on the actuators, which translates into more consistent performance and longer service intervals, something industrial robotic teams will appreciate. But this isn't just about better engineering on paper. The lighter, sleeker frame and electric actuators give Atlas a much wider range of motion. It can twist, crouch, and recover in ways hydraulic systems struggle to match, especially at high speeds. And here's the key point. This isn't a showbot anymore. Electric actuators and optimized weight distribution make Atlas safe enough and quiet enough to work indoors, right next to people. Boston Dynamics clearly built this version with deployment in mind. Factories, warehouses, and any environment where a humanoid robot has to operate for hours. Not just a quick demo. This is more than an upgrade. It's a mechanical foundation for the first truly industrial-ready humanoid Boston Dynamics has ever made. Number 2. Motion Redefined Atlas's viral demo wasn't just a trick. You've probably seen the clip by now. The new Atlas picks up engine covers and then moves them between supply containers and a mobile sequencing dolly. For humans, this task might seem simple, but this is actually very advanced and difficult to perform for robots, at least at the moment. This was Boston Dynamics proving that Atlas isn't just reacting, it's thinking in real time. Here's what's really happening. Every move you saw was powered by physics-based control and live sensor feedback. Atlas uses depth cameras and model predictive control to read its environment, calculating where to place its feet, how much force to push with, and how to shift its center of mass to stay balanced. And this wasn't about showing off. Tossing a toolbox with accuracy means Atlas can calculate weight distribution, timing, and trajectory, things you need for warehouse work or construction tasks. Climbing scaffolding while balancing on narrow beams proves its new electric actuators can handle precise, rapid weight shifts, something hydraulics struggled to do at this speed. For a technical audience, this is huge. Atlas chained together locomotion, manipulation, and recovery at human-like speed without pausing between actions. Most humanoids today, like Tesla's Optimus or Agility Robotics Digit, are great at steady walking or lifting simple objects. But chaining complex, dynamic movements like this? No one else has shown it in a real-world sequence. Boston Dynamics didn't post this demo for clicks. They posted it to send a message. Atlas can handle unpredictable terrain, adjust on the fly, and perform functional industrial movements. The parkour days are over. This is a robot learning to move with purpose. Number 3. The Smartest Brain Yet – AI Inside the Frame Atlas isn't just moving better, it now can make its own decisions. 
The new Atlas runs on NVIDIA's Jetson Thor, one of the most powerful AI platforms ever built for robots. This isn't cloud processing or remote piloting. Every decision, every step, every grip, every balance correction is computed locally in real time. For a humanoid robot, that's the difference between simply following preset movements and reacting to the world as it changes. But Boston Dynamics didn't stop at hardware. They've trained Atlas using reinforcement learning and simulation before transferring those skills to the real robot. And earlier this year, Boston Dynamics partnered with the Toyota Research Institute to integrate what they call large behavior models. Think of it as a library of learned motor behaviors. Atlas can now acquire and refine complex whole body skills faster than ever before. So what does that look like in the real world? Let's go back to the footage in which Atlas performed a fully autonomous object picking task, no human joystick, no prescripted sequence. It detected each part, adjusted its grips when pieces weren't aligned, and even recovered when an object shifted unexpectedly. The robot recalculated its movements on the fly and completed the task at human-like speed. That's a massive leap for humanoid robotics. Optimus and Digit are making progress, but both still rely heavily on scripted motions and predictable environments. Alice, for the first time, is showing it can work in unstructured changing conditions and make its own micro decisions to get the job done. This isn't a stunt bot anymore. Alice is turning into a self-directed machine, a robot that doesn't need you telling it what to do every second. Number 4. Precision Hands Built for Labor Alice's new hands aren't built to look human. They're built to work like a machine that never gets tired. Instead of designing a delicate five-fingered human-style hand, Boston Dynamics went for something far more practical a three-finger gripper engineered for strength, sensitivity, and durability. And for anyone who understands robotics, that choice makes perfect sense. These grippers are force-sensitive and compliant, meaning they automatically adjust their grip strength depending on what they're holding. In recent demos, Atlas was seen carrying heavy tool bags, flipping planks, and even tossing objects with incredible accuracy. It doesn't crush fragile items, and it doesn't fumble heavier ones, because sensors in the fingers constantly measure how much pressure is needed and adjust it in real time. Boston Dynamics designed these grippers to survive real industrial work. The materials are rugged, able to withstand repetitive heavy lifting, dust, and debris. Unlike many humanoid robots that try to copy human hands for the sake of aesthetics, Atlas's hands are built for utility over imitation. This is part of Boston Dynamics' broader philosophy. Don't try to be human. Outperform humans where it matters. What does this mean in practice? Atlas's hands might never play the piano, type on a keyboard, or thread a needle. But that's not its job. Its job is to lift, carry, and place objects as reliably as a trained technician and do it for hours on end without fatigue. Atlas's new hands are a clear sign that Boston Dynamics isn't just building a showpiece anymore, they're building a worker. Number 5. Self-writing and self-aware. It can fall and get back up. One of the most underrated but game-changing features of the new Atlas is this. It can fall and it can get back up without help. In the latest demos, Atlas demonstrated a move that looks almost human. If it's knocked flat on its back, it flips its legs over, plants its arms for leverage, pushes against the ground, and springs back to a standing position, all in one fluid motion. It's fast, deliberate, and requires serious control over balance and momentum. And why does this matter so much? Because most humanoid robots can't do it. Robots like Agility Robotics's Digit or Tesla's Optimus are great at staying upright, but terrible at recovery. If they fall, they either need human assistance or have to power down and reboot into a safe position. For industrial or warehouse environments, that's a huge problem. Every fall equals downtime, and downtime costs money. Atlas changes the equation. With its electric actuators, optimized weight distribution, and real-time balance control, it doesn't just get back up. It recenters itself, recalculates its surroundings, and immediately returns to work. There is no operator intervention, no restart sequence, and no long pause to figure out what just happened. From a practical standpoint, this is one of the clearest indicators that Atlas is moving toward true autonomy. A robot that can't recover on its own isn't ready for real-world deployment. But a robot that can fall, recover, and keep working without breaking its workflow? That's a machine you can rely on in unpredictable environments. It might not be as flashy as a backflip, but for anyone serious about robotics, this is a huge milestone. Self-writing isn't just a trick, it's workplace readiness. Number 6. Hyundai's $21 billion bet on Atlas Boston Dynamics isn't just building Atlas for cool demos anymore. It's building it for factories, and Hyundai is the reason why. Hyundai acquired a majority stake in Boston Dynamics in 2021. And since then, the South Korean automaker has been quietly positioning Atlas as part of its long-term automation strategy. 
Hyundai isn't just dabbling in robotics. It's making one of the biggest bets in the industry. With over $21 billion committed to the U.S. manufacturing and robotics infrastructure over the next few years. And Atlas is already a part of that plan. According to Boston Dynamics, Atlas is currently being trained on real car parts and production equipment, learning how to handle components that are awkward, heavy, or repetitive for human workers. Why Atlas? Because Hyundai's goal isn't to replace every worker. It's to take over the 3D jobs, the dull, dirty, and dangerous roles that cause injuries or high turnover on the factory floor. That means tasks like moving heavy components, lifting parts above shoulder level, or navigating cramped assembly areas where automation was previously impossible. The collaboration makes sense. Hyundai gets access to cutting-edge humanoid robotics for its factories, and Boston Dynamics gets a real-world testbed to fine-tune Atlas for industrial use. Every hour Atlas spends inside a working factory gives Boston Dynamics valuable data to improve reliability, efficiency, and safety, turning Atlas from an advanced prototype into a deployable workforce tool. And Hyundai isn't shy about its ambitions. The company has said publicly that it envisions robots becoming a normal part of its production lines within the decade. Atlas is a key piece of that vision. This partnership marks a critical turning point. Atlas is no longer just a research project locked in Boston Dynamics' lab. With Hyundai's backing, it's taking its first real steps toward commercial deployment and toward becoming a common sight on factory floors. Number 7. Comparing the Competition Atlas versus Optimus versus Digit The humanoid robotics race is heating up, and three names dominate the conversation. Boston Dynamics' is Atlas, Tesla's Optimus, and Agility Robotics' is Digit. Each is built for a different purpose, and comparing them side by side shows why Atlas's new version is such a big deal. Atlas is designed like an athlete. Its fully electric actuators, 3D printed metal frame, and optimized weight distribution are built for agility and durability. It's meant to handle awkward, physically demanding tasks in dynamic environments. Optimus, on the other hand, is designed to mimic the human form more closely. Tesla prioritized symmetry and a lightweight build. Its five-fingered hands are more about human-like dexterity than heavy lifting. Digit takes a completely different approach. Its bird-like legs and minimalist upper body are optimized for warehouse logistics. It's built to walk through tight aisles and carry totes, not to do backflips or climb scaffolding. At the moment, Atlas is, hands down, the most advanced in motion. It can jump, flip, balance across beams, and even recover from a flat backfall autonomously. No other humanoid has demonstrated this level of kinetic complexity. Optimus moves carefully. Tesla has shown it walking steadily and picking up objects, but it's still limited to slow, controlled movements. Elon Musk has been clear. Speed and agility aren't priorities yet. Stability and mass production are. Digit trades acrobatics for reliability. It's incredibly stable, even when walking on uneven surfaces, but it's not designed for dynamic motion. No jumps, no flips, no advanced balancing acts. Atlas runs on NVIDIA Jetson Thor, paired with reinforcement learning and Toyota's large behavior models, allowing it to make real-time decisions and adapt to changing environments. Optimus uses Tesla's FSD full self-driving chips, leveraging Tesla's expertise in computer vision. Tesla is also moving toward integrating language models, which could give Optimus conversational abilities and better task understanding in the future. Digit uses practical, logistics-focused AI. It doesn't think at the same level as Atlas or Tesla's long-term ambitions, but its proven navigation and object handling AI already work reliably in warehouses. Digit is the only humanoid already working commercially. Amazon and GXO Logistics are testing it in real warehouses today. Atlas is expected to start pilot testing in 2025 at Hyundai's Georgia Meta plant, moving it out of research labs for the first time. Optimus remains mostly internal to Tesla's factories, with no confirmed commercial timeline yet. Atlas is the most physically advanced humanoid robot right now, showing movements and balance no one else has matched. Digit is the most commercially ready, already doing real work. Optimus is the most ambitious long-term bet, aiming for mass production and eventual household use. Three different strategies, three different endgames. But for sheer capability, Atlas just set the new benchmark. Number 8. The Long Game Atlas as a Scalable Workforce Tool Atlas isn't just being built to show what's possible, it's being built to scale. Boston Dynamics has made it clear that this isn't about making a one-off humanoid for research labs or viral videos anymore. The new Electric Atlas is a production in development, a machine designed to work in real industries, side-by-side -side with existing automation and human workers. At the heart of this strategy is Orbit, Boston Dynamics' fleet management software. Originally developed to manage Spot, the company's four-legged inspection robot, 
Orbit is now being expanded to handle humanoid deployment. With Orbit, companies will be able to monitor multiple atlases at once, assign specific tasks, schedule maintenance, and track performance in real time. Imagine dozens of humanoids operating simultaneously, each receiving live updates on what to do next, which assembly line needs extra support, or where replacement parts are required. Boston Dynamics is also investing heavily in digital twin technology, virtual models of real factory floors. These simulations allow engineers to plan how Atlas will move through production environments before it even steps foot inside. The ultimate goal? To make Atlas as common and reliable as a forklift. Forklifts are standard equipment in almost every warehouse and factory because they're dependable, predictable, and built to run for long hours. Boston Dynamics wants Atlas to reach that same level of autonomy and reliability, capable of handling the dull, dirty, and dangerous jobs humans don't want or shouldn't have to do. And this is just the beginning. Atlas isn't the final product. It's the first step toward a scalable humanoid labor force. Over time, Boston Dynamics expects to refine the design for easier mass production, longer battery life, and even better integration with automated logistics systems. The long game is a future where humanoid robots aren't rare or experimental. They're standard tools, as essential to factories as conveyor belts and robotic arms. Atlas represents a shift in robotics from curiosity to necessity and Boston Dynamics is building it with the future firmly in mind. Would you trust Atlas on your factory floor, or will Tesla's rumored Superbot Optimus change everything? Like, subscribe, and stay tuned.